is Jalen Mills. He's the big gun. Wow, that hurts. That's Jalen Mills. Big stop. That was a huge defensive play there. What a great play by Jalen Mills. And intercepted, picked off by Jalen Mills. Welcome back to Good Morning Football. And boy, I tell you what, if you're a Birds fan out there, do we have a treat for you. From the city of brotherly love, we are going to welcome in someone who's known as the Green Goblin, Jalen Mills, Super Bowl 52 champion, <laughs> cornerback for the Birds. Top of the morning to you, Green Goblin. How you doing, my man? Uh, thanks for having me, man. Doing, doing great. Doing great. Listen, last year, obviously, tough season, banged up, battling injuries. You missed seven games. First and foremost, how you feeling? How's your health? And talk to us a little bit about what workouts have been like for you and where have you been training? Yeah, um, just coming off an injury, you know, felt kind of like last year. Um, of course, as a competitor, a true competitor, you always want to you always want to help your brothers out any type of way, you know. Um, but I also felt like I didn't have my that pop, you know, that that twitch that I know that I had. So now um, having a full off season. Um, I mean, I feel great. Um, I think I'm in the best shape that I've ever been. And as far as workout goes, um, I'm from Dallas, so I, I was training in Dallas. Um, man, it's hot out there. Training in like 100 degree weather every day. Yes. Um, I feel like if if I could train in that, man, I come to the East Coast where it's 80 degrees during camp, maybe 90, and uh, I'll be pretty good. Jalen, I love having you on the show. I remember you being on Good Morning Football Weekend, and that might have been three, four years ago. So you are a friend of the program, and we appreciate you being here. And there's been a lot that's changed with the Eagles over three, four years. Of course, you guys won a Super Bowl. And this last offseason, you add Darius Slade to the defensive backfield. What does adding a cornerback like that to your room that's already pretty strong, what does that do for you guys, and how confident that this group can be one of the best in the league this season? Yeah. Uh, so for one, I'm gonna say this is probably the the best the best morning show for sure. You know, wake up and and this is the show that's always on and on a, in our facility or or at the, at, at my house. Um, but as far as Slay goes, um, you just get a, a a dynamic guy, a guy who can x out anybody's number one receiver. He has that confidence, and um, we have that confidence in him. And and I mean, it's a big big plus for us. You know, as far as um, everybody knows Philadelphia is a defensive city. You know, we we live and breathe off the defense, and um, we feed we feed off the offense as well. But uh, I think bringing him onto the team uh, it was a really really big key, and uh, we needed him. Jalen, I feel for you, man. Growing up in the Dallas area, finding yourself on that Eagles roster, and you're right, it has been hot here, but we've got below normal temps finally, so that's nice. You know, your teammate Lane Johnson was on the show last week, and he believes that the Eagles are going to be real contenders this year. And I got I to gotta think when you look at the NFC East, you guys are the ones that actually have the continuity with your coach. Do you think that's going to play into it? Or do you think you guys have added some pieces that are going to make you guys more of a contender this year? Yeah, the the additions are always great. Um, and, and we got some really, really good ones, even from the draft. You know, that's, that's one of the big things, too, getting young guys who um, the organization trust in and, and – as soon as they hit the field, they're going to be ready to play outside of the guys that we got from the free agency. But uh, one thing that I've always learned um, from veteran guys coming into the league that um, even if teams do look good, you know, on paper, um, we still have to put it together. You know, it's kind of been set back a little bit as far as this pandemic and not having OTAs. And then um, they're trying to get everything ready as far as reporting camp date and things like that. So um, for sure, we look good on paper. Definitely can be a contender. Uh, we just got to put it all together, and it starts in camp when we start. Jalen, you guys have brought in some big-time players. Um, I believe you guys have a lot of big-time players on that defense, including yourself. Um, let's take it back to that 2017 C Super Bowl season in the division round of the playoffs. <laughs> you made a play against Julio Jones, one of the most explosive wide receivers in the National Football League. Matt Ryan put it up. And you made a play, a big-time play in a big-time situation. That's what big-time players do. 
just take us back through that play. Tell us what was going through your head and, and how were you able to make such a critical play? Yeah. Um, so you go you go back to um, it's, it's fourth down. Of course, you know, Julio comes to my side and it's kind of like a, a exhale, like, okay, I know where the ball's going. You know, my, my, my first mind was He's gonna. He might run. He's gonna run a fade. You know. He's. You see multiple times where he just run a fade and he out muscle guys, snatch the ball from him and, and the game is over. Um, then the, as as the play recognition goes on, um, we got Rod, Rodney McLeod out there and you got Malcolm Jenkins, my veteran safeties, and it's kind of like we're looking at the formation and it's the same formation that we practiced that Friday. And it was sprint out. So once we see the formation, and it's kind of like we all looked at each other at one time, and it was like, this is the play. So everybody's screaming, sprint out, sprint out, sprint out, sprint out, sprint out. And as soon as he hiked the ball, it was just, as you know, it's all about on, on corner wide receiver when you're getting a, a play like that. It's just who can be the most physical at the top of the route because either the receiver's going to get into your body and he's going to break down and they're going to catch the ball or the corner has to be more physical to the receiver to try to throw the timing off for the receiver and the quarterback. And that's just what I did. And as far as when the ball went up, it was just like, try to get your hand through the pocket. You know, that's what they teach you. Try to get your hand through the receiver pocket, try to knock the ball out. And I mean, the rest is history. You know, that that, that place went crazy. And um, I think uh, it was a really, really big play as far as getting us to the NFC Championship and the Super Bowl. No doubt you're making big plays on the field. You've also been doing a lot off the field. It's been a, a wild offseason for everybody. Uh, besides working out and, and taking care of your body, you've been doing a lot in the community. What have you been doing and who have you been affecting? Yeah, so uh, actually I just partnered with uh, Performance Meal Prep, their meal prep uh, company out here in uh, Philadelphia, and we partnered with them. Went to the t went to the hospital um, down in Philadelphia, and we just helped the frontline workers. You know, I had to go down there and actually show them my support. They were ecstatic. I'm telling you, I got thank you so much. Thank you for everything you're doing. We really appreciate this a million times. It was to the point to where I had I kind of chuckled a little bit because I was like, these people are they really do appreciate what I've done and what's going on, and 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 me just talking to them, telling them that. You know, I had a grandmother who was sick, you know, growing up when I was a younger kid and knowing that um, it was hard for her to get to the hospital or um, how good her nurses and her doctors took care of her. And it, what's going on now with this pandemic, we have to know that these people are putting not only their selves in danger, but when they leave these 12 hour shifts, these 10 hour shifts, they're putting their family members back at home in danger. They have wives, they have kids, they have husbands. Um, they have elderly um, parents that may stay with them. So just me going down there, giving them a good lunch break, you know, showing my appreciation to them, man, that was that was easy, man. They really appreciate it. It's awesome. You get it, Jalen. We appreciate it. And you're such an ambassador for the sport when you do things like that. Uh, say about food and we go on Twitter and we see <laughs> you had a hot take on Twitter recently. Let's lighten this up a little bit. Ranch on my pizza is a must. Jalen, this is controversial. What do you got, Green Goblin? What's your take on this one? It's 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 kind of like, you know, uh, cream cheese on a bagel, um, you know, jelly on toast. It's it's I can't have one without the other. And if you haven't tried it, don't knock it till you try. You know the saying. Um, it, it's it just it just goes one and one. It's I I can't do it. I I can't I can't eat one without the other. So, so honestly, you can't have a slice of pizza unless you put a, a, a store brand ranch dressing on it. Like, come on, that piece of pizza is a beautiful thing, just right out of the oven. You need ranch dressing. And is it I Hidden Valley? Gotta have ranch. That specific Hidden Valley ranch. That's it. She, 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 she gets it. She gets it. She gets it. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I'm weird. Out. A lot of my friends do it. I guess the I'm question is, you. do you put ranch on your cheesesteak? Down in Philly? Not on my cheesesteak. 
Not on my cheesecake. I was about to this say. You got to leave the cheesecake how they make it. You got to leave it how yes, they make okay. it. Yes, okay. All right. Well done. Well done. I'm sure uh, I'm sure you can go down to the old line room and, and find yourself tons of pizza, cheesesteaks, whatever you oh, need. Yeah. I know those boys are always going to have some food for you. Uh, Jalen, thank you so much uh, for coming on with us this morning. It was awesome having you on, and good luck this season, except against my Giants. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Thank, thank you all for having me.